In this module, we will be running a frequency analysis in PASW Statistics 17. A little bit of background on frequencies. A frequency analysis is a type of descriptive statistic. It can be used for summarizing frequency or measures of central tendency. Descriptive statistics are the most commonly used statistic. So what exactly is frequency? Well, Frequency will show us the number of occurrences, as well as it calculates the measures of central tendency. So some of these measures of central tendency that we're familiar with would be, let's say, mean, or also known as the average. The median, which simply is the middle number found within a group of numbers. And then the mode is the number or multiple numbers that appear the most amount of times. As we analyze our data in this part and in subsequent parts after this, to kind of bring it home as more of a real life example, we're gonna ask real life research questions in which we want to answer using the particular analysis that we're gonna be working on. So for our frequency analysis, our research question asks, what kind of computer do people prefer to own? So in essence, we are going to answer this question using our data file by completing a frequency analysis. Locate and open the data file named part1.sav. Depending on your settings when you launch a data file for the first time, you may get another window called the output viewer window, which will also open. I'll explain this a little bit more in depth as soon as we complete this first test. So in the meantime, please just minimize that window and make sure you have your part one data file displayed. If you scroll down through your data file, you can take note that this particular survey was administered to 80 individuals, as well as if you take a look at the variables that we defined, we actually just completed a sample survey that we worked with in our previous module. So once again, our first research question asks us, what kind of computer do people prefer to own? So to answer this question, we are going to run our frequency analysis, which will show us the number of occurrences of each one of the responses chosen by your respondents that you administered the survey to. To run the test, first click the Analyze menu, then mouse over Descriptive Statistics, and click your frequencies option. Your frequencies dialog box will open, and if we want to know what type of computer people prefer to own, the variable that we are going to work with and explore is computer owned. Let's begin by selecting the computer owned variable from your variables list box. Once selected, click the right pointing transfer arrow to move that computer owned variable into your variables list box. If we were to run the test right now, we would get a frequency analysis on what type of computer people prefer to own. But if there's some other measures of central tendency we would like to add, there's a button in the frequencies dialog box which is gonna enable us to include more of those options within our output. So let's select our statistics button now. In the Frequency Statistics dialog box under Central Tendency, click on the checkbox to the left of Mean, the checkbox to the left of Median, the checkbox to the left of Mode, and under Dispersion, select the checkbox to the left of Standard Deviation. Once these four additional options have been selected, click on your Continue button. Once you get back to your Frequency Analysis dialog box, Click the OK button so you can run your analysis and generate your output. After you've run your analysis, a separate window is going to display your results from the test that you've just completed. It's going to be arranged into two different frames. On the left-hand frame is going to be an outline of the different proceedings that you have completed. Then on the right-hand frame is going to be your actual results listed in tables and charts. The thing that you have to remember when you're working with your output is when you save your actual data file, 
the .sav file, it's not going to automatically save your results from this output viewer. And saying that, you will need to save the two separately, and then you can open up at any time to retrieve your results, copy and paste tables, and so forth. The first statistics table at the top of our output represents the information that we checked in order to be displayed and included in our output. So the mean, median, mode, and standard deviation are essentially extras that we added on to our frequency analysis. To get to our frequency analysis, go ahead and scroll down so we can view the entire computer own table. In order to answer our original research question, which was, what kind of computer do people prefer to own? We need to find the type of computer that has the largest value. In other words, the highest frequency. So we're going to look under our frequency column and take a look over at the rows that correspond to that column, which are um, our variable for which computer that the individuals own. And we see that IBM or compatible has the largest value of 49 making it the most frequently chosen response, as well as the answer to our research question.